Hi, in this video I want to share a tip about using the plane 3D and a sketch to actually create geometry and have a reference. So sometimes when you start out with some doodle, you can doodle in 3D actually and give it a flat material and and so on. That's something that you already know. But you can also make a drawing on a plane like I have done over here, so I have only been drawing with RGB, not with Z-Add. Uh, and for the stroke, I have set my lazy mouse to on with a lazy step of 0 0.1, 0 of lazy smooth and a lazy radius of 1. So now when I draw on the canvas, I get strokes like that. I've made a quick sketch. It's a very bad one, but it's just an outline. And with this method, you can quickly create your proportions. And now if you want to make geometry out of this, you can go to Tool and to Masking. Um, it's over here. Then Mask by Color. And then there is a button Mask by Intensity. When you click that, now the black portion has been masked, so when I go to Subtool now and to Extract, and I've set my thickness to 0 0.05, Extract, then now I have an extraction, but my color is black, so I'm going to set it to white, and Extract again, and Accept. So now, when I go over here and hide the other Subtool, I have an extraction, darken the color a bit, like that. Shift F for my frame. The, the wireframe is pretty bad, so I can dynamish it, or what I usually do is Z remesh it. So I'm going to geometry and Z remesher over here, and maybe about 0 0.5 and Z remesher, and then I'm going to pause until it has finished Z remesher. So I'm back, it has finished Z remission and it was a good thing that I paused the video because I forgot to turn on X symmetry and I got a really bad result. But with X symmetry now I have my Z remeshed geometry and I, I can continue with my 3D sculpt. <coughs> Excuse me. So play RGB off, Z add. So now I can continue refining and I only have to worry about one dimension. I don't have to worry about my outline and I can quickly start out just like that and the advantage is also I still have my sketch so when I turn that on then I can verify so on the, the only thing I need to do is and I'm going to transpose and Drag that. Oh, and it's still masked, so control, click and drag. So now my plane is behind. Q, shift F to turn off my... Like that, go back to this subtool, move tool. And so, because I still have my drawing behind it, I can... But if you're careful, then that is not really necessary, but when you smooth out, just like that. That's something that I wanted to show you. The example is pretty bad, but you see, with this workflow, you can focus on your sketch, on your outline, on your proportions. And I usually start out with a front view. I don't worry about the side view. I just start out with the front view extract the geometry and continue sculpting like that and I only have to worry about the side view so just wanted to share you this way of working hope you found it useful bye for now